shoot threes. They recruited players that shoot threes. That is their DNA. And just because you're missing a new Bearcat, okay, is it for liberty now? So avoid that 0 3 start. As hard as it could be, you know, when I come after an early season conference. Three season rankings right now with just a sustained success at the Living Lynch for seven. Like, in a joyous mood type of shit, but keep him stable and not feel bad because of this. Anytime there's a game going on or whatever, he's going to feel some type, some type of way. He's trying to put the Hazel and Nugget game on the top team. All right, E. Break this thing down for me. Uh, so this uh, this helps with both icing and uh, compression. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna have like a sleeve over his shoulder that this runs the cold water by um, while it presses on it. So it's, I mean, it's great for swelling. Uh, super comfortable. Way better than when you and I had to like do a bag of peas or or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? your playlist whenever you're on campus what's favorite album of the year what's like your favorite new artist uh, I, my favorite album right now ooh, I would probably say uh, Rallo Rallo album probably my favorite right now who I've been listening to the most lately been Rod Wave though yeah, his new album and then the old throwbacks. Yeah, Rod, Rod is definitely like, I feel like when I'm by myself or I want to like be in my own thoughts, Rod is like somebody who I turn on. something I accomplish or it's like what's to come. It ain't I'm in here crying. I'm right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it makes you think. Yeah. And then like some people just don't listen to him. They hear him like thinking like, oh yeah, he's just sad, but then I actually listen to like what he's saying. Like something like right. you actually like tell you a story of a, like a normal person like like going through an obstacle or you know, overcoming something or right. you know what I'm saying? Yep, like, absolutely. They, they just don't listen to it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been listening to the most lately. Why? You, you depressed? Yeah. I was like, no, not it's, not, it's not even like that. <laughs> it's not even that. Um, you said something there, like thinking back on a perfect day. Can you describe a perfect day for me? <coughs> for me? Yeah. Ooh. A perfect day for me was back in the day was uh, getting some money out my pops roll during the summer. Stealing. How have a incriminated yourself just now. See, <laughs> brother, they have to put all that in there. When you say getting it, that it could be given to you. I'm stealing from my pop though. Because I don't know what's being missing. <laughs> but obviously it was for good reason. McDonald's is not a good reason. <laughs> I gotta eat. <laughs> you want me to starve? You at work? A duly noted. So back to what I was saying, like, you know, the nice little summer, get some money out my pops room, get some little food, chill with the homies, and just have fun, like whatever it is that day. You were about school for all of them. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. That's that's dope. Yeah. Well, I know. I feel like it changed now. Like I, I always said, you know, like I wanted to be like, you know, the greatest. Which I feel like that's everybody. But like as an athlete, I want like that 
I was like, yeah, nobody, you know, worked like him. Nobody was able to do what he did instead of just being a great. I feel like it's a lot of greats, but it's a, a lot of people you really can't say. Like, oh yeah, nobody ever in this, in the world worked hard, harder than him or, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what I want more as the, the athlete, as a, as a man. I don't even know if I have the, the answer yet. I'm still going through that, yeah, you know? <laughs> I honestly don't. I honestly don't. So, yeah. I feel like I'm still growing into that, man. Like, I, I might got one letter out of it so far. And that may be the M right now. No, I don't think it's finished yet. So. Um, that, that athlete perspective that you share, you feel like, you know, because I'm hearing a yeah. lot of the same thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you hear Cole, like, everybody know Cole. Everybody know, like, like you said, that mentality he had. It's like, outside of basketball, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the difference maker between him and a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. Right? Like, that's you know? what made him great. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So like, it, like mine to be that, it ain't like, okay, yeah, he was nice on the court. It's like, I have that other thing that you just know job out. This way. <laughs> so, the, so this the team right, right there is in the middle of the court. Yeah. Yeah. They're of this, of this yeah. basket like this. Yeah. They're mid court. Bro. Well, no, they yeah. Play yeah. Goal. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, that one, that one. How many more people will get so, checked in? Check in, no. That's it. Yeah. I'm coming in one minute. You're here watching TikTok. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, we'll I'm going down here. Yeah, we just uh, wrapped up the first day of the uh, tryouts. Successful turnout. 66, 67 players. Of course, uh, a couple of them uh, went home uh, hanging. I hope they hang. I hope that's going to make them uh, drive and get better. But uh, excited about what 12 time is about to do. You know, like I said, catch this wave. See you tomorrow. This is the biggest one. This is where the main surgery was at right there. But that would be hurting the main the main spot. So and then I gotta lay on my back. the opportunity to come to this gym and see the peach jam that they throw every year by Nike, you see very high level basketball. And that's what Nike is trying to start from the junior level. So, you know, we appreciate Nike. We do have Nike representative here on site and stuff. So, you know, this is high level basketball. This is not, you know, the church league and the rec league and some of the basketball you, you guys are used to playing. So it's tough to put a team together and you can't do it in two days. You just can't, so. I love it. Nah, I just want to start off by saying, uh, parents, thank you all for, you know, bringing, every, uh, bringing the kids out to, you know, attend this tryout. Uh, I want to start off by apologizing, uh, not being here yesterday. Uh, it was above me, but, yeah. Um, Super excited to come today. Obviously, it's uh, you know my first year doing AAU. Obviously, something I wanted to do for a while. So another thank you to Diego and Nike for allowing me to do this. Uh, once again, thanks to parents for bringing the kids out, and thank y'all for even showing up and you know being here to you know go through trials with me. Uh, it's pretty much it. Um, from what I heard from yesterday and what I seen today, it was a lot of competing, um, a lot of talk. Um, none of y'all can guard me still, but. Uh, it's all good, you know, we plan on running the whole AAU circuit this year, starting now until, you know, I'm done with it. So, uh, once again, thank you all. Uh, thank, you know, the staff, TM staff, um, everybody said, everybody for, you know, helping out. Mom Deuce, thank you all for, you know, the registration and all. I know I put a lot of, you know, work on y'all hands in a short amount of time, but, you know, y'all came through for me uh, when I couldn't be here. So, uh, thank you uh, for the kids. Um, my only message is, you know, just stay the course. Um, continue to, you know, have confidence in yourself. Uh, number one, believe in God. Um, everything is on God's time, and God has a plan for, you know, every one of us in this gym right now. So uh, just trust that. Continue to pray. Obviously, y'all have great parents around y'all that, you know, is taking care of y'all and, you know, providing y'all with stuff um, that pretty much my parents did for me. So, it's you know, it's a blessing. Um, second, school. All y'all in school, middle school right now, uh, grades are important. You can't go to college without, you know, having the education, making sure you, you know, you're doing what you got to do in the school. So, uh, basically, my message right now is everything that, you know, that I went through in my life, uh, stuff I had to, you know, learn, obstacles I had to get over. Uh, I just want to go ahead and tell y'all, you know, that help y'all with that. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure everybody in the room nor what this last, you know, year been for me. Um, Side of being in trouble twice, uh, come back, had a you know a great return, and then you know I'm right back out for you know another five months now uh, with an injury. So you know it's been rough, but you know just having y'all actually be here, this is you know what makes me smile. This is my light right now. This is what keeping me going. So uh, once again, thank y'all for coming. Uh, thank my people for you know being my support system and helping me out. And uh, 12 time about to take over. I hope Diego and Nike know that. Ready. 12 time. I know this is like a Q&A, 
I ain't did media in a while. But. <laughs> Nobody got no questions right now? Hey, hey, say, speak up, stand up, stand up. What do you do throughout the week? When I'm healthy or when I'm injured? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I'm healthy, uh, obviously, you know, I have a whole season, so it's it's rough. It's a lot of time, you know, that, that takes from, I'm pretty much, you know, at the gym, uh, probably about 9.30, and I probably get home like 3.30, uh, so it's a lot of time. So my normal day for me is, you know, waking up, go to the gym. Uh, we go, normally we have a... Uh, individual workout so I will work out with the coaches I will have a, a weightlifting session and then that leads me right into you know our practice and then after practice I would normally get shots up after practice and then it's pretty much treatment you know taking care of my body um, obviously my body is what make my money so um, if I can't walk I can't run then I ain't no good to nobody so I have to take care of my body uh, then I go home I wish my uh, dad would cook more, but you know, sometimes he'd be busy as well, so I have to door dash a little something to the house, you know, but uh, nah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then after that, it's just basketball. I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably one of the most basketball junkies y'all to meet. Like if, I, if I'm not doing anything, if I'm watching TV, it's basketball. Uh, and for my parents, I know y'all watch Martin. I hope. <laughs> so it's basketball and Martin with me. That's my normal day. I have a question they might want to ask. Like, before you even made it to the league, like, in the long times, how many shots you got out by yourself before, like, anybody moved y'all with? Uh, I think that's really a question for my pops. Uh, we normally tell this story all the time. I used to be a game, game freak, so I was always playing 2K, whatever it was, um, all the time. And it was just one time with my pops. I uh, was actually leaving to go to work and I was playing the game and uh, he told me why you playing the game somebody else is playing the game and then he like when I get back from work I want you to tell me what that means when he got back I was still playing the game so obviously I ain't care too much about what he was talking about at that age I really didn't understand what he was saying but he basically was telling me while I'm in here playing the video games all, all day all night that somebody is actually working on their game basketball wise and then you know from that point on it went from that to him having to tell me to come inside uh, me and my you know my friends my homies whoever I was out there with to come inside so uh, I definitely put a lot of work in um, you know day in day out uh, to get where I'm at and that's pretty much what it takes. You have to be actually dedicated and locked in to, you know, be the best you want to be. And I felt like, you know, early on basketball was just really the only thing I wanted to be my best version of myself at. And that's why I'm in the position that I was in. I wasn't taking care of myself outside of basketball mentally. So I had to, you know, put that upon myself. Obviously, if I'm a healthy job, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, then I'd be good on the court, so. Um, Why is the confidence, like, you know, with your journey, and how can you, like, get the fight to the keys? Why is when things don't go your way on the court, how can they stay positive and get the confidence? Pretty much, I started here. I started here at the same age, that's why I was, when I had this opportunity, I started at this age right here. You know, this pretty much where it start. Obviously where basketball pretty much become live, you know, during that sixth, seventh grade year, I think in South Carolina, where I know like you start middle school basketball, seventh grade. So um, early on for me, like I pretty much, I'm pretty sure everybody know my story. I didn't get recruited, you know, um, until the end of my high school career. And that was just pretty much off of one tournament where I averaged pretty much 40 a game so um, obviously it was rough it was days where I come in I talk to my mom I talk to my dad asking why I'm not being recruited when I'm playing against guys who was ranked and everybody know what happened with that but uh, I, I, I think that pretty much gave me more confidence to you know believe in myself and then every time I step on the floor to prove myself no matter you know who I'm playing against or whatever so uh, miss I can say to y'all um, I think number one would be patience uh, I feel like that's the patience is the key. Uh, continuing to believe in yourself when, you know, stuff not going your way. Obviously, I've been through that. Uh, I didn't think I would be here, honestly. But um, 
I did, and that was just me, you know, pretty much being resilient, uh, continuing to work, continuing to believe in myself. Uh, early on, what do you feel like set you apart to get you to the level that you are now so that it was either physically or mentally to get you to the NBA? Uh, I'll say where I'm from. <laughs> Keep it like that. You know, I'm from, I was born in Georgia, raised in South Carolina, and you got to get your own out there. So, uh, like I just said, you know, previously, like anytime I step on the floor, I, I knew I had to prove myself. Um, my pops always told me once you get inside the four lines, there's no friends. So, um, that's how I talk. I'm pretty sure y'all see how I be talking on the court. I do all these celebrations and stuff. It's just, pretty much what gets me going. And um, obviously I know the work I put in day in and day out. So at that point, I know nobody is working harder than me. And I, I believe in you know my work and, and myself um, over anybody, so. Can you sign it and get it wide open? Say it again. Richard, cause that brother got a picture.